Hello, welcome back, and this is part five of the Dead Rising walkthrough. Okay, yeah, the professor's still locked in the store. That's where we're at in the story. Doors welded shut. Got our boy Otis. All right. We got some stuff to do. What is this photo challenge? Paradise Plaza. Okay. We got to wait a, like a day before we get that. Alright, like I said, this episode is going to be in for a treat because we have probably the best boss fight in the game today. Um, oh, I do want the bat and I want the katana. We're keeping, actually... Yeah, we'll drop the coffee here. Uh... That I have one that for crowd control katana. I'm gonna need that for the boss, and I'm gonna need the mannequin for the boss. Uh, we're also gonna have to get another food item. This is definitely one of the more tough boss fights in the game. Probably the toughest one of them, at least. Uh, I'd say this and the gun shop owner are the two hardest. And that's what I love about this game, is a big thing about it is the boss fights. The psychopaths, I think they're usually pretty interesting. Got another Otis call. North Plaza, Otis Real Planet 2. Shadow of the North Plaza. I don't remember that one. That might be the gun shop? I don't remember. Or it might just be a survivor we need to rescue. Oh! Oh, uh, you know what would have been nice? Is it okay? That's what I was just about to say. I thought I dropped my skateboard, but I didn't. That just makes things a lot easier and faster. That's the point of the game, you do want to move fast, so... Skateboard is always good. One of the more better items to have in your inventory, for sure. I don't know, I, I, I don't think I could go out with this... Go out without a skateboard. Until I get the speed leveled up. Because Frank does run super slow at the beginning. Alright, um, I mean, we gotta do it, you know, for the one time. Okay, not what I meant to do. Clear yeah. them out. You know it's there for a reason, we gotta do it. I love how all of them are just crawling. Do we got a queen? Yeah, we do. Gotta get some zombie kills. We have a few, just a bit more XP before we come level up again. So let's uh make another speed boot. So we're gonna need it. Um, so. This guy drops a pretty good weapon, and honestly, the weapon's kind of cheese. It's probably the best weapon in the game. We'll probably use it, but we won't use it the entire playthrough. Because, uh, it is absolute cheese. You just fly through the game with it. You fly through every psycho. It's definitely, I'd say, the best weapon in the game. And, uh, if you know, you know, you three magazines that make it to where it is 28 times stronger or has 28 times more durability and you literally like pick up two of them because another one spawns I believe and you just fly through the entire game it's super easy uh, but we definitely want to kill this boss 
Definitely a smid selling on him. Definitely isn't an easy boss. This is the Wonderland Plaza. Which, honestly, I think is the most unsettling part of the mall. The big part of it is because of this guy. And you just have these things just spinning like they are. You got that big creepy rabbit over there. It's like the kids section, but it's nothing but a hellhole now. Okay. And here he is, Adam the Clown. He plays zero games. Whoa. And this is why we brought this. Stuns him. As he uh, blocks like that. You gotta like whip punish Adam. Because he'll block and he'll break uh, the weapon. Oh yeah. Don't wanna forget. Boom. Boom. What did I say? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, the mannequin. Oh. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's go for a whip punish. And that's why the mannequin torso is so good. I thought the chainsaws were supposed to be the best weapon. Alright, you know we gotta finish him off the Bannikin Porsche. Scott Hey. Yeah, and uh, I did say the mannequin torso was broken, and honestly, never even used it before then. Um, I just saw on YouTube that it was super good. I don't even remember when, but it definitely is. This weapon is ridiculous. That knocked him on his ass every time. And I basically just unlocked him to death. Uh, I, you know, that boss fight is usually hard, but I guess not with the mannequin for stuff. Oh, we don't want to do that one. Actually, we got to stop the ride. Because uh, you definitely want to kill Adam. You 100% want to kill him. Because he gives you the best shortcut in the entire game. We 
get Greg. The Chad Greg. Damn, that's a lot of zombies. Alright, I think he's with us. And, uh, you also got another chainsaw. I mean, we're picking up both of them. I think we'll use them for a while. We just won't use, like, the magazines. I don't know. And they are the chainsaws. They go hard. They're super broken. I don't know if they're mannequin torso level. <laughs> Honestly. After using that. I believe. I don't think I've ever. You know, you can't fight Adam with them, but I, I think uh, Mannequin Torch would probably be better against the boss. No, Greg, do not. I'm probably gonna have to give him like the speed thing. So, no. All right, let's go and let's open the shop I want a bit today. Yeah, that broke. We're gonna use up some chainsaw. We just gotta take Greg like two feet. Frank! Uh, I missed out on a PP. I want that though. You want me to go this way? Oh yeah, I forgot I'm following him. Oh, I want you to do that again. Can he do it? Can he make it through? Here, here, here. No! Get off my wiener! Alright, I hate to kind of waste that, but I don't want to help. Sorry. I'm with you, I'm with you. Boom. Could have got a better shot of it, but it's fine. Yeah, I'm just obviously slip on that. Every weapon has a personality in this game. Hold on, I'm by you. Don't get surrounded. I do have a way to get you out if you do, but... I'd rather not waste it. Oh, I'm a she on accident. Alright, we have the weapon of gods here. Two of the chainsaws and the mannequin torso. All we're missing is the machete and the machete and the cleaver. Yeah, the cleaver. That's a really good one, though. Imagine the mannequin torso with fully leveled up attack power. Probably like kill Adam and probably like five four hits or so. Come on to it, Greg. That's a dead picture. Awesome. Smooth selling with Greg. Got the paint in the zombie's eye. The zombie did that? Uh, we're gonna use the entire man mannequin here. We need this nice wide screen attack. Actually, weapons like these with this attack are pretty good just to get the zombies off the survivors when they grab them so you don't accidentally hit the survivor. Come on. Awesome.
Escort complete. Yo, Frank! Give me a hand here. Hey. What... What gives? Considering the helicopter and all, we have to work together. But that doesn't mean we can tell you everything. And everything we do tell you can't necessarily be printed. Yeah, so? So, I just want you to appreciate the situation. Well, we're up to our necks in zombies. Yeah, I think I appreciate the situation just fine. Zombies. I still can't believe all this, you know? Seems so unreal. You all right there? Yeah, I got it. You should rest a while, Brad. You go ahead and catch some sleep first. We can switch in four hours, okay? Well, normally this would be a good stopping point. Yeah. But I do want to save it and get these Japanese tourists real quick. Because they're right around the corner. Two easy survivors. I wanted to go ahead and get Greg. That's not someone I wanted to risk losing. Because uh, I don't want the apple. The coffee creamer is overpowered, honestly. Broken. Needs a nerf. Uh, we got Greg and Otis. I love how they sit together. Then uh, I forgot about the. I remember. I I, I remember this kind of like missing. You know, somebody. Usually every other survivor goes in the safe room. All right, let's get the bat. Uh, we'll drop this. I do want the machine gun. You can't, it can't hurt to have a gun on you. Um, God, I'd love another mannequin torch to have. We don't need one right now, though. We really don't, honestly. We have the potentials. Like, I want to use them, but I want them to break eventually. You know, I don't want to just use them the whole game. I believe we can snap a picture of this. There we go. Uh, we're gonna pick up some batteries, because why not? Right here. Alright, let's head on to the Japanese course. And now we have the short pack. Which is perfect. I think this is a PP sticker too. Awesome. Great picture. Out of my way! Out of my way! Out of my way! Awesome. Fantastic! Oh, that's a hard one, baby. That's a tough one. And you know we gotta get Frank in some shades. Get him rocking some shades. The white shades, I believe those are. Yeah, ignore that arrow. Right here, Wonderland Plaza. That is such a... That's huge. That shortcut is absolutely huge. The game is way harder without that shortcut, in my opinion. I think it is. Uh, real quick, we have time. We'll get some extra XP while we're here. 
the bad is just so nice to have. You need a good crowd control weapon at all times. You need to get the zombies out your way. Grab another bat right by a sports store. Golf club. Would you consider the golf club a firearm? Not really. I kind of wish he just had a regular attack with it, and then when you like aim D, you know, did this. That I think that'd make the golf club a lot cooler. Uh, where's the bats at? Oh, here they are. Yeah, we got a bat. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I was going to take the rides. Oh my god, another one. I mean, like... I'm going to have to pay good. And we'll use it up. Look at that. This is like the cool, one of the coolest weapons, I think, in gaming, honestly. It's super good. It's literally just a mini chainsaw. Like, it's meant for chopping and killing. Yeah, magazines are awesome. I'd rather use them when I have more um, inventory spaces. The only one I'd probably use is the one where food items heal you more. So, right here, this one, these guys... They don't speak English. I already picked up the magazine, but normally you cannot talk to them until you pick up that magazine because this magazine is lets you speak Japanese. Um, I'm not sure if I have to have it on me or not to talk to them. Come on, guys. Frank speaking Japanese to them. Oh, no, I missed it. Picture, anyway. Yeah, I got an achievement. A trophy. Awesome. They got some, uh, I got a bunch of XP for them just joining. And it's as easy as going back through the shortcut we unlocked now. So I'm going to point them to go over there. We gotta head on to him. Ah, uh, the zombie freedom. Solved that with a simple jump trick. Queen, we already got one on us. I'll, I'll go ahead and grab it. They have the first spot. Use it right here. Follow me. Queens are OP. Come on. All right, a few more steps, boys. Sweet. And they're full health. We're at the plaza. So this is, this is as good as game now. Uh, oh, another queen. Play this little section out. And that's what they're good for. Honestly, I, I don't think I've recalled until now is how much you can rely on those just to get the survivors. Look, the chainsaw's already about to break. Ooh, hoo hoo. Looks like they got kind of stuck. That's okay. We're just going to use this other one. Just get them out of there. Since this is about a break, I'm giving it to them. It's going to be his gift. I'll break it first. 
Yes. Go. Yeah, we're gonna try to get rid of them pretty quickly. I do. I don't want to rely on them. I think I'm gonna use one to for the gunshot boss fight. Okay, let's grab this. Might just have to keep the chainsaws and ban that mannequin torch that I <laughs> Help me! Oh my god! All right, these guys were pretty easy to rescue. We got them. Over there. Sweet. All right, bit of a longer part, but I think uh, we got a lot done. Yeah. So thanks for watching, and uh, see you in part six.